today is a copy, cut and paste. Um, we'll be doing the code to copy and um, text from the text area. What I have done is I've added to the edit menu, copy, paste and cut. Now that wasn't there before so I'll show you the code for doing that. And I also took away the document listener. We're going to use the, the, the action listener for this. And I've added an if statement to the action performed um, so that when I click, I'll show you, when I click copy, it prints the copy, when I click paste, it clicks the paste and cut the cut. And so what, what that's just a simple print statement I've put inside the action performed, but I'm going to actually put real code so that we can use a clipboard of the system computer and um, copy it into the clipboard so that we can paste it somewhere else. There's two kind of there's two kinds of clipboard you can use in Java. There's a local one and there's a global one where you can use the clipboard system clipboard and you can cut and paste to different applications. Uh, what I'm going to show you is a global one using the toolkit. And uh, so we'll get started. I'll show you what I've done. Uh, if I go to the top you can see I've added J item menu for copy, paste and cut. Then I've created an instance of them in main. So copy, paste and cut. And that's what will appear inside the menu. This text here. And then I've added an act, the add an action listener to the copy dot add action listener F. That's the instance of this class. I've done the same for paste and cut and so remember the action listener it says here and if I go down to the action performed it's a method for action listener now I've created um, a statement for each object so I've created an if statement for print well copy, paste and cut and so if you remember right in past tutorials that's the reason why we can do this because of this piece of code here. Um, get source and cast it as an object and C equals object of the action that was fired. And so if the object was copy, then this code will be executed. And that's a code we executed a few seconds ago. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the code inside the copy because we're going to do a copy. The first thing you need to do um, when you're, you're doing the, the copy code is you've got to um, use uh, the clipboard class um, and it will be passed the get toolkit um, class and the uh, get system clipboard so I'll do that now so at the very top this is not inside main this action performed it's outside it so we don't need to use that tick and so I can come I can come here and I can go I can go the class name clip board and I can give it a name just call it clip and equals it's not a new object so what it is is it's going to be the clip board that everyone's using, so there's not going to be a new object and everyone's using different uh, objects of this clip board. It's just the one clip board uh, for a system computer. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do get tool kit and that's our constructor. Um, and what I need to do is I need to import oh yeah, I'll finish this off first dot get system system clipboard don't see system clipboard yeah we do system clipboard and semicolon now what we need to do this here needs to be imported so imported cli um, clipboard java dot w dot in Jaffa dot awt dot data transfer is where you'll get all the clipboard stuff and 
and stuff for transfer data and so if you're using the correct code you need this imported and so if I go back up to the top take away the clipboard and put an asterisk in there it means we get access to all we get access to all the, the classes inside this path and so that's the first stage done that's the first stage here now we can access it, the system clipboard now we need to go way down to the action performed and in the action performed copy we, we start to type the code so we need a string what we're going to do is we're going to copy what we're going to do is we're going to copy text from the text area um, it's not images it's not it's just text right? and so what we need is a string to pass whatever we're going to copy into a string so we can do something for, with it so we could create a global one which would be um, alive as long as the programs run or classes run we don't want that we just want it um, to survive when we're copying or pasting and so inside the if statement we create a, a string then it's only alive as long as this if, if statement is executing it and so that's what we want to do we create it in here string and we'll call it s equals and the text area which we're going to copy something from and we call the te text area area so dot and when we actually copy something if you pay attention and, and notice that we actually highlight it we select it and then we copy it and so the, there's a method for that get selected text and so, so that's us done the first line of code. Now the next line of code is a class for string selection, and this handles the string that we selected. Um, I don't know too much about the class, but um, that's what it's doing. And so, what we need to do is make an instance of that class, and it's going to be an instance, and we're going to use it for to to send to the clipboard. And so, it's called string. Rec Sean and we'll call that crip string just because we've already used the, the word string equals new string Rec Sean and it's constructor but what we do is we pass this string is going to do something with the text we've selected so we need to pass it this, this, the text from that text area that we selected and we call that S whatever we highlight is going to whatever we highlight will be the, in the string S so if we highlight the, the word area um, S will equal the word area so we'll be passing that word area if we highlight the word get and copy that S will equal get and we'll pass that in here so what we're going to do is pass S Right. So that's the second part of it. Now the next part is to to send that information to the system clipboard, and the next part is using using this up here, the toolkit. Where are we? Using this here, the clipboard, and the system clipboard. So and we called it clip, and that's why we didn't use it's called the second one clip, and so. What we do is we use clip, clip dot set contents. So it's set, and it's set because we're going to um, not get and take it from the clip clipboard. We're going to send the text to the clipboard. So that's setting it inside the clipboard for someone else to use. And so that's what we're going to use. And there's two arguments. The two arguments is and I don't know exactly why, um, but it's like the selected text goes in twice, and so and that's what works. So S and S, and then what we do is semicolon, and it doesn't like it for some reason. Let's find out why. Set contents. Oh, the 
it's wrong. It's not S, it's this one here. It's strength selection. I'm putting the wrong one in. So it's crep string and it's crep string. Okay, and I'll be happy with this. Yep, happy. And so, so that's us actually done the code for the copy. Now what we need to do is proof it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Notepad. And so move that over here and I'm going to run the program. Right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go type in going to copy. Okay. And if I highlight this, so what I knew, what I'm going to do is select this. That's us selecting selecting the string. So um, that's get selected text. That's what this is here. And that's the method we use. And so if I go to edit copy and then if I come here and I do edit paste and do it I've just copied um I've just copied the text from that text editor to this text editor and that's just by using that code and I can also copy something from here hi there text So if I, if, I, if I copy this, edit, copy, and uh, give it a new line, and uh, well, I've not done, I've not actually done the paste yet, but I can use the keyboard, um, control V, and that will paste it there. So it was pointless to me doing that. Um, what I can do is I can, I can copy the whole lot of it, and um, copy and move it down a couple of lines, edit, paste and I can also do the same here, edit and paste it there um, so that's a copy, that's a um, text editor copy so I hope that's been of some use and thank you, thank you for your time